Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, very good. How are you guys? I'm fine, coach. Okay, very good. How was fine? How was your day? How was your day? Hello. Hello. How was your day? And in my case, my my. I I was studying in English? another um yes but is that technical okay technical English yes okay very good Susie how are you Susie are you there Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Welcome. I am fine. Fine. Do you feel happy for beginning today's class? <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> are you happy for the class? Yeah. Okay, very good. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Okay, we are going to start and I'm going to pass the attendance list. When you hear or when you listen to your name, just say present, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. No? Ana Yancy Rivas de Rodriguez. Yes. Okay. Carmen Lisette Hernández Escobar. Present. César Heriberto Rivera. César? No? Eh, Claudia Lorena Enríquez. Claudia? No? Dani Salberto Fuentes. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. No? Okay. Uh, Dolores Saraí Molina Pérez. Present. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. No. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present, teacher. Fidel Coreas Pascual. No. Flor de María Gómez Sánchez. No. Charlie Alfredo Palma Portillo. Here, coach. Right. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Eh, Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Not here. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. No. Oscar Fernando Gamero Cabre Carrera. No. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Um, hello, good evening, guys, everybody. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Are you ready? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much, Thank teacher. You. Okay, so are you ready to start the class? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yes. <laughs> okay, so please do me a favor, guys. Can you turn off your mics? Microsoft off, please. Mics off, please. Okay, thank you. Let me share one important thing for you to know. Give me just one second. All right. Tell me if you see my screen. Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah, miss. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. So, um, Welcome, this is the English for Work program, basic module five. My name is Iris Judith Solorzano Sorto, and I'm going to be the English teacher in charge. Uh, this is me. I'm going to say something in Spanish. Uh, bienvenidos, bienvenidas, sean todos y todas a esta eh, clase de inglés básico, módulo 5 para el programa de inglés para el trabajo. Eh, les decía que voy a ser la maestra a cargo. Eh, mi nombre es Iris Judith Solorzano Sorto. Y hablándoles un poquito sobre mi formación académica, pues les comento que me gradué de licenciatura en idioma inglés de la Universidad Tecnológica de El Salvador en el año 2018. Eh, tengo conocimientos de computación y manejos de plataforma académica. Eh, dentro de mi experiencia laboral, lo que les puedo comentar para ser así un poco breve es que eh, he estado en esto de la enseñanza de, del idioma inglés por alrededor de cinco años y medio. Eh, estos cinco años y medio los he impartido de manera presencial, por lo que eh, dar eh, estos cursos virtuales eh, para mí fue un, un reto, ¿verdad? Creo que para todos los maestros fue un reto el año pasado eh, por lo de la pandemia, ¿verdad? Pero, sin embargo... Eh, Siempre lo he dicho, siempre lo diré. Eh, todos los días se aprende algo nuevo y yo espero que ustedes aprendan todos estos días que, que vamos a estar aquí viéndonos eh, a través de, de Inglés Corporativo y de Insafor, Inglés para el Trabajo, que aprendan mucho, ¿verdad? Cualquier duda, cualquier consulta, estamos a la orden. Ya se les envió el enlace para que se unan al grupo de, de WhatsApp eh, para cualquier duda o alguna cuestión que tengan ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí vamos a estar a la orden. Bien, este, he estado trabajando en, el colegio, en un colegio bilingüe. Eh, he trabajado en una biblioteca municipal del municipio de Apopa. Eh, tengo experiencia también como intérprete y traductora de, de inglés. Y también, pues, lo que ya les comentaba, que he sido tutora virtual de inglés en, en el último año y medio, ¿verdad? Eh, esto es sobre mi persona. Eh, como les comentaba, mi nombre es Iris Judith Solorzano Sorto, pero me gusta que me digan Judy, ¿verdad? Me pueden decir... Eh, Teacher Judy, Miss Judy, ¿ok? Veamos, vamos a, a ver estos requerimientos del curso. Estas son como tipo eh, normas que vamos a estar ejecutando a través de este programa. En primer lugar, eh, tendrían que tener su nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, no sé si tengo oyentes acá. 
No? No? Ok. No. Bien, entonces, eh, pero si hubiesen oyentes y, se, y si se nos incorporaran más adelante, pues tienen que agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Eh, la cámara tiene que estar encendida durante toda la sesión. Si comenzamos a las 8 y terminamos a las 10, quiere decir que en todo ese tiempo tiene que estar la cámara encendida. El micrófono se puede apagar, ¿verdad? Mientras se esté dando algún tipo de, de información y se va a encender siempre y cuando la, la, o sea, mi persona se los se lo pida, ¿verdad? También les quiero pedir que se minimice el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Es decir, eh, los ruidos exteriores, traten de estar eh, en un lugar donde nadie me los vaya a desconcentrar, ¿verdad? Eh, y luego tenemos lo que es la participación activa. Eh, si la teacher les dice, bien, eh, ¿qué piensan de tal tema? Entonces, a veces yo puedo decir, eh, Carmen, dígame qué piensa de, de tal tema. Puedo ser directa, ¿verdad? Pero como también puedo lanzar las preguntas al aire y ahí yo voy a esperar que se activen esos micrófonos, ¿ok? No sé si hasta el momento eh, va quedando clara la, la información o si alguien tiene alguna duda al respecto. Oh. No, no teacher, es claro. Claro. Ok, thank you. Veamos, por otro lado, la asistencia tiene que estar al 100% de las clases. Si se fijan, cuando el reloj marcó las 8, empecé a llamarlos por su nombre. Les dije, cuando escuchan su nombre, tienen que decir present o I'm here, ok? para yo ir marcando que ustedes se hicieron presente a la clase. Eh, la asistencia se va a tomar en tres ocasiones, como lo verán por acá. A las 8, que ya la tomamos, a las 9 y a las 9 con 55 minutos. Eh, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino que también debe cumplir con la clase completa. Se va a tomar válida esa asistencia, como ya lo decía. Tienen que responder present, en este caso sería present, ¿ok? Y bueno, tener la cámara encendida. Eh, sesiones de uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar la clase para aclarar sus dudas con su facilitador. Yo no sé cuántos de ustedes eh, han estado durante el inicio, es decir, durante el primer módulo con, con inglés corporativo. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han estado eh, ya inscritos desde el primer módulo? Ay, mi teacher. Okay. Entonces ya saben de lo, de lo que se está hablando, ¿verdad? Así es? es que el día de ahora voy a asignar la primera persona que se va a quedar conmigo cuando el reloj marque las 10. Esa persona se va a quedar conmigo 10 minutitos, ¿verdad? En esos 10 minutitos me puede consultar información sobre cualquier tema, cualquier inquietud que tenga. Ahorita les digo quién va a ser el afortunado o la afortunada. Igual, si quieren práctica, que me digan, teacher, yo necesito speaking. Bien, nos conectamos eh, después de las 10, 10 minutos, usted y yo entablamos, entablamos una conversación, ¿verdad? O, o lo que sea, teacher, no entendí este X tema. De, del módulo pasado, podría por favor ayudarme, y ahí pues se le va a solventar. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas, ¿está presente? Present teacher. Ok, por ahí está Luis. Ok Luis, entonces usted ha sido seleccionado para participar en la rifa de 10 bitcoins, <ríe> no mentiras. 
este, para que se quede conmigo después de las 10, el día de hoy, ¿sí? Entonces, okay, todos los okay. días, todos los días va a ser un estudiante diferente. Ahora le tocó a Luis, mañana le puede tocar a Alfonso, pasado a Ana Yancy y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Eh, los permisos no están disponibles, ¿sí? Así es que tratemos eh, de cumplir en estas cuatro semanas, estar presentes y no solicitar eh, permiso, porque puede eh, perjudicarle al final del, del curso. Bien, las tareas y las evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. No sé cuántos de ustedes ya ingresaron a la, a la plataforma. ¿Ya ingresaron? Mi teacher. Yes. Mi teacher. Yes. Ok. Entonces, allí van a estar encontrando las tareas, las evaluaciones para que las vayan trabajando a diario, ¿verdad? Y así puedan culminar satisfactoriamente. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro se es enviado a Insafor sem semanalmente. Quiere decir que tienen hasta el viernes de esta semana para completar toditas las tareas. Yo les recomiendo que no dejen todo a última hora, pues yo sé que como buenos salvadoreños a veces nos tiende a, a suceder eso, ¿verdad? Pero no es lo indicado. Lo indicado es que a diario vayamos ahí poniendo en práctica lo que estamos aprendiendo. Eh, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, o sea, el midterm, es el viernes 16 de julio, antes de la medianoche. Y la fecha límite para terminar el examen final, el final exam, es el 30 de julio, siempre antes de la medianoche. Esto, si consideran que es información relevante, pueden ir tomando nota o le toman un screenshot para que les quede ahí, ¿verdad?, como evidencia, y más adelante no me vayan a decir, teacher, no me dijo, me poncho, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que estemos ahí en, en sintonía, eh, sería lo ideal que lo anoten. Bien, el manual puede ser descargado desde la plataforma. Hoy en la tarde, a los que están en el grupo de WhatsApp, se les envió en formato PDF. Pero si algunos todavía no se han unido al grupo de WhatsApp, eh, pueden descargarlo directamente desde la plataforma. Ahí se encuentra el, el Students Book. ¿okay? Bien, eh, con respecto a la plataforma, la que vamos a estar utilizando es Zoom. Eh, por acá, pues, vamos a encontrar muchas opciones, la cual es, entre, entre las cuales podríamos encontrar el botón silencio, que sería Mute, que es como para apagar el, el mic. Eh, luego tenemos la cámara, que tiene que permanecer encendida. Tenemos la opción de chat, los breakout rooms, que los vamos a estar utilizando mucho. Y tendrían un botón Ask for Help, en caso de que se les presente algún inconveniente. Bien, no sé si hasta el momento eh, ha quedado claro como el agua o claro como la horchata. It's clear, please. Okay. So, since today on, we are going to be speaking only English. All right? Are you ready to start? Yes. Teacher, teacher perdón. Oh. Eh, reviso mi, mi chat mm -hmm. y no, no encuentro el, 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 el mensaje del, del, del chat del grupo. Eh, eso está en WhatsApp. Ajá, el WhatsApp, perdón, sí. Ajá. Ok, eh, no, no tiene acceso todavía. No me aparece, no, fíjese. Okay. Encuentro los, los anteriores. También pero... yo, teacher. Teacher, también yo. No, no ya puede. revisé. No me aparece. No, no me aparece en el chat. 
Bien, permítanme, ahorita les voy a reenviar el link aquí por el chat para que puedan eh, accesar, porque sí es importante que se conecten. Permítanme, vamos a ver. Los demás sí ya entraron todos. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, entonces ahí vamos a estar pendientes, ¿verdad? Como ya les decía, si tienen alguna duda, inquietud o algo que no se haya comprendido de la clase, pues ahí me van a poder eh, contactar. O igual, ¿verdad? Podríamos eh, solicitar eh, ayuda de los compañeros, siempre y cuando estén ahí disponibles y con ánimos de querer ayudar a los demás. Yo pienso, bueno, les diré que en mi caso personal considero que el inglés es un idioma muy bonito, siempre y cuando nos guste y le metamos este, el esmero, ¿verdad? Para poder ahí dominarlo a la perfección. Hay muchas personas que dicen, teacher, fulanito, fulanita, esto es muy difícil, siento que no es para mí etcétera, pero en realidad solo es falta de motivación, creería yo. Bien, entonces estoy reenviando ahí el, el, en el grupo el, 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 el link para que se puedan unir a WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para que estemos ahí todos ya en, en, en sintonía. ¿Ok? So, let's start the class. Let me ask you one question, guys. Do you have the, the student's book? Who has the student's book already? Yes, I have. You have it. Okay, very good. So let's see. I'm going to share my screen again with you. Let me see. All right. Can you see the, the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So today we have the first topic and the first topic is, can somebody help me reading it? Who wants to help me reading it? What is the name of the topic? What is the name of the topic? Words to make a step in progress. Okay, thank you, very good. So that is my name again, basic module five, class one. Introducing yourself with the teacher. All right, so now it's your turn to talk because I want to know you, okay? I want to know you better. You are going to say this. Uh, hello, my name is, uh, I'm years old, I live in, I work for, and nice to meet you. That is the information that I need right now, okay? So uh, let's see, who wants to be the first one? Voluntarily, who wants to be the first one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hello, my name is Susana Hernandez. I am 37 years old. I live in Ciudad Delgado. I work for Grupo Pile. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Another volunteer? Me, teacher. Hello? Hello? Another volunteer? Me? Yes, Me? go ahead. Yeah. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Karina Villeda. I am 28 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work for import department in Ibermoda and Ciudad de and nice to meet you. Very good, nice to meet you too. One more volunteer, guys. Me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, hello. Hello? Yes. Tell me. Tell me. No, 
Okay. Hello. My name is Oscar. I'm 39 years old. I live in San Salvador. Yo I mi, work for Optima mi. Consulting. Nice. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Lourdes. Go ahead, Lourdes. Thank you, teacher. Hello, my name is Lourdes. I am 28 years old. I live in Mexicanos. I work for Manuchar de El Salvador. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Carmen, Carmen Orellana. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Carmen Hernandez Orellana. I am I live in San Salvador. I work for Avianca. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, one more, and we continue with the next activity. One more. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hello, my name is Katia. I am 24 years old. I live in Mexicanos, and I work for Stradivarius. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. Let's continue uh, with the next one. And here we have a conversation. In this case, we are going to listen to the teacher reading the conversation, and then I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for you to practice, okay? So uh, please pay attention, concentrate, for the first time, you listen. On the second time, you repeat after me, okay? Teacher, yes, sorry. Yes, tell me. Eh, no se mira bien la imagen. No se mira bien la imagen. Okay. No. Se ve borroso. Exacto. Okay, yeah. wait. Listen clearly. Listen clearly. All right, let me see. What about now? Is the same. No. the same. The no. same. Yes, it's not clear, teacher. It's not clear. Okay, let me see. Maybe I have internet problems. Maybe. Let me see. Let me check this out. But do you have the student's book? Do you have the student's book? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can use it. You can use it. Okay, let's see. Teacher, alguien está interfiriendo y se oye feo. Okay, uh, guys, can you please turn off your mics? Just for a moment, please. Teacher, is the page number nine. Yes, it's okay. this one. Look. Thank you. Look, this. Uh, Can you see it now? No. 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 Oh, teacher. Puedo compartirle la pantalla? Yes. Can you see the screen? Okay, I try. Guys, can you see the screen? Yes, we can see, but it's not clear. It's not clear. Oh. Not clear. All right, wait. Um. Do you have who has the who has the students book, guys? Do you have the students book? Yes, teacher. Yes, I have it. You have it. All right. Yes, so, I have. All right. But the other ones don't have it. No? Can 
Can you see the screen now? Can you see the screen now, guys? No, teacher. It's the same. No. It's the no. same. Es que creo que tiene el tamaño reducido la presentación. Okay, wait. Yeah. Oh, guys. Oh, teacher. No, miss. No. You don't see the screen. Yes, I see, teacher, but the the screen is very, uh, it's not clear. It's not clear, the screen. Yes, the the picture, I, I take a picture uh, for the screen in the in the WhatsApp group. Yes. I share. Let me check it because I don't know. What's going on here? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. There you have the, but it's not everyone in the group, I guess. It's like that. Uh -huh. I can see how you see it now. Just hold on one second, please. I'm going to... I'm going to send the, wait, I guess that I have the book here, but I'm going to send you the book here, guys, okay, to the chat, you get it and you take the, wait. I'm gonna try once again and you tell me how do you see the, the screen. I try to do my best. Let me see. Can you see the screen well now? No teacher. Nothing. La ven, la che. ven borrosa. O co ¿Cómo la ven? Sí, Porque acá borroso. veo en el chat que ven ve borroso. borroso. Sí, borroso. Sí, 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 se ve, pero borroso. Ajá. Okay. Sí, yes, tell si, me. si usted deja de compartir, se le puede compartir. Ok. Si gusta. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. ok. There you got it. It's very clear. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm going to send you the book tonight. Okay. When we finish the class, I'm going to send you the book, or you can download it from the from the platform. In that way, you have it, and well, we avoid having this kind of troubles, you know. So, uh, for the ones who have the book, uh, just pay attention, okay, and then you just uh, pay attention to the pronunciation and to the words that we are going to be checking, okay? So, this is a conversation between Anna and Mark. Okay, listen, listen to the pronunciation. Mark, Mark, would you, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. 
let's take a look. All right. So now uh, we are going to repeat the conversation. Okay. I'm going to repeat the conversation just in case you didn't get it. And then at the third time, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for you to practice. Is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. What about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it those customers and we have it and we have other products. We have a candy bar in a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. All right. Thank you, Edwin. Can you please uh, stop sharing? Thank you for your help. Now, guys, I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms and you are going to participate there in the groups, practicing the conversation, all right? We are going to make the groups right now. Let me see how many people do I have. I have 21. So that means five or four. All right. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes teacher. All right. Yes. Let's go. At the end, I'm going to select a couple to role play the conversation in front of everyone. Okay, so go ahead. All right, guys, I want to listen to you, Karina and Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Karina, are you there? Karina? Alfonso, are you there? Hello, Miss. Are you there? Um, I have a dinner in the moment, teacher. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Eat your dinner. Karina, are you there? You. Karina? Okay, have your dinner, Alfonso. I'm going to check the other, the other groups, okay? Enjoy it. Okay. Of sugar and to hide. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble, bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Ustedes dos chicos. Okay. Um, I am Anna and Edwin, you are Mark? Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller fit. We add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. 
Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider two customers and we have other products. We had a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. If you want to start, uh, Luis. <clears throat> okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top. Sangre. And then? Mm, finally, we are ginger. Uh, what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have the products. We have a candy bar and ba butter gun with zero, zero sugar content. Oh, great. Let's take a look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the one, the one person. Uh, I don't know. Quién es el que falta? Yo falto. Okay. Finish. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Is to hi. We consider those customers, and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with see with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, now Fidel, you are Anna. I am Anna. Okay. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we had a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we had a thin layer of slight almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add the ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat, eat, eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider it to customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble jump with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. Very good. So we are about to, to start the role plays and just get ready. Get ready that we are going to come back to the whole class and somebody is going to role play the conversation in front of everybody in the class, right? So just be ready, be ready guys, Thank be you. ready. Thanks. All right. How do you feel this activity, guys? Do you feel it well? So so? Difficult? No. Piece of cake. Medium. It's here. Okay, piece of cake. All right. Thank you. So uh, let me see. We have here. We have here a, a couple of a couple of words. 
that are going to be really useful as the vocabulary from the conversation. Can you see the screen? Oh, yes, yeah, super clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes better, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see here, what is the first one? Danis, Alberto, can you help me reading number one? Tick layer. Okay, the meaning is? Uh, Cowscape. Okay, very good. Number two, uh, Lourdes, Beatriz. Thin layer. Meaning? A skinny cape. Okay, very good. Uh, Edwin Daniel, can you help me reading the word number three? Slice? Cool. Ah, slice. It means cut. Okay, here you have the word in the definition. All right. Uh, let's see. Charlie Alfredo, number four. What is it, the word number four? And ginger. Ginger. Mm -hmm. And hot. From a okay. species made of a plant. Okay, a spice. 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 Okay, spice. very good. Uh, Karina Elizabeth, number five. <laughs> Karina? <clears throat> Amount of number on quant quantity. All right. This is the vocabulary, and if you want, you can have a screenshot of this, uh, uh, you know, slide for you to have it on your notebooks, just in case you don't know what the meaning of these words are, right? So here, tell me, can you see well the screen? It scares me when I have this kind of things here and you are going to tell me, no, teacher, I cannot uh, see it. But tell me, can you see the screen? Yes, yes teacher. it's clear, yes. it's clear. Yes. yes. Okay, thank God. Feel better now. So, um, Let's see, wait, just give me, um, give me a second. Give me a second, I thought that I wasn't recording, but I have to record this because at the end you will, you will be able to uh, see this, watch this video. All right, let's go. So here. All right, we have these two, these two questions. Uh, let's see, Fidel, Fidel Coreas. Can you help me reading the question number one? What are the words my Mark used to indicate the part of the manufacturing process. Okay, very good. Can you repeat the question and can you tell me? Teacher, my question goes to um, Danis. Tell me the name yes. of somebody who wants, to, of who you want to listen the answer from, okay? So, for example, I'm going to say this example. Uh, my question, teacher, goes for Carmen Lisette. Uh, Carmen Lisette, what oh, yeah. are the words Mark used to indicate a part of the manufacturing process? And then Carmen gives me the answer, right? Yes? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Fidel. Again, okay. read the question and tell me the name of the person. Sure, my question is for Dennis. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Dennis. What are the words Mark used to indicate the part of the manufacturing process? Hi, Fidel. Uh, the used mark, the indicator is uh, three. Three process. Okay. What, what uh, are the words? Or second. Mm -hmm. or, oh, the word. Mm -hmm. um, three. Uh -huh. You say first. Okay, you got one. The other one. Uh, permitame. Uh, the first and second and finally. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see, Katia. Katia, are you there? Um, 
Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. To whom goes your question? My question is from um, Dolores Saray. Okay, Dolores Saray. Go ahead. The first question. No, question number two. The second. Okay. Yes. What What are the negative size of Mark's product? Dolores? Dolores? Sí. Dolores? Sí. Are you there? Eh. Is is a uh, a candy bar and bully goon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank Zero you, Dolores. Sugar content. Thank you, Dolores. Let's ask Alfonso Antonio. Do you agree? Alfonso Antonio, are you there? Yes, is. Okay, do you agree with the answer, yes or no? No. No, what is the correct answer then? Um. Mm -hmm. Who wants to help Alfonso? Who wants to help Alfonso? Ask me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Carmen. Uh, the negative size of more product, that is uh, the amount of sugar is too high. Yes, that's right. That's right, very good. Clap for you. Okay, clap for you, very good. I see that you're paying attention, okay. So uh, let's move on. Uh, how many of you did you watch the videos that you have on your manual, on your book? How many of you watch the videos? No? Who watch the videos? Nobody? No, no. No? Okay. No. Uh, At the moment, no. Okay. At the end of the class, you can watch those videos, okay? You have it in the student's book. Over there, you have the links. My recommendation to you guys is to watch every single day those videos. There are two videos for each class. In that way, when you come to class and the teacher asks you, uh, for example, Carmen, tell me about the video in the book. Carmen say, ah, oh, teacher, yes, the video is blah, 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 blah. And she begins speaking, all right? Mm, okay. So that is one of your homeworks. Watch the videos always, every single day. You have it in your student's book, right? So uh, I'm going to uh, sum up the information that is in this video because of the time. So uh, one of the videos is about manufacturing processes. And uh, let's see, Dan Danis or Dennis? Dennis. Dennis, okay. Can you help me reading the, can you help me reading this? This uh, sentence okay. and the example, please. Perfect. Okay, go um, ahead. The material that becomes into a product, for example, flour, a flour? bread, flour, flour, and bread. Bread. All right. Bread. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, what is manufacturing processes, guys? This is the definition manufacturing process is when the materials become into a product, okay? I have, uh, for example, uh, I can say, I have paper here, paper. This is the product, this is the product. But uh, before being the paper, what comes first? It was a tree, tree? or it was only paper? No, what uh, was tree. first? Tree. tree. Okay, Three. so that yeah. is the example, right? Here you have floor, okay, floor, and then you have a delicious bread, a delicious, for example, quesadilla, 
uh, oleadita, you know? Okay. Okay, so you have yeah. materials and then you have the product. That is manufacturing process. This means that they can be tangible, you can touch tangible, yeah. and good yeah. quality, okay, quality. That means that is a good product, all right? So um, as not everyone uh, could watch the video, I'm not going to ask you to tell me uh, what you understood about the video. But what I can ask you is to tell me uh, maybe an example, one more example. Who wants to give me one more example? Voluntarily. Who wants to give me one more example? As it is here, flour, bread. Another example, who can give me an example? Um, Oscar? It's possible. Oscar Gamero? Go ahead. Okay. For the manufacturing bread. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, first, you can. Uh, Prepare the machine, the oven is the correct word. Say it again. Oven. Say it again. Or no, oven. Oven, uh-huh. Okay, first uh, you can uh, you prepare the oven. Mm -hmm. uh, prepare the flour, yes. And another ingredient, you can the bread, uh, second. Mm -hmm. And mix all the ingredients and okay. finally uh, mm -hmm. put in the oven. Okay, very good. Very good. good. Karina, Karina Lisa. Karina. Tell me, Karina. Okay, uh, for example, make a uh, pupusas. Uh -huh. At first, you need to put um, flour and into the bowl with with water. Uh -huh. Then you mix and yes. prepare a dough. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. After that, you can use a, a beans and cheese uh, you made a uh, like a tortilla and into uh beans with cheese inside it mm -hmm. and make a bowl and then uh, finally make a tortilla again mm -hmm. and put uh, in the stove and make a pupusa <laughs> Sounds delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Very good. Very good. I'm hungry. All right, guys. Crazy. So uh, this is about manufacturing. On the other side, we have the second video. The second video was about the methods of production. And for this, I want, uh, let me see, Susana Carolina, help me read in the first, uh, the first idea. Susana Carolina. Susana? No? Okay. Será que paso la asistencia ya para ver si están todavía despiertos o ya me dejaron aquí solita con los otros compañeros? No, está hablando no. Susana, pero no se le escucha. Está hablando. Ajá, ha perdido oh, el audio. Ajá. Mute, mute. Yes. No, no tiene mute. Oh, Fraser. She has trouble. She has trouble. Okay. So, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Here? Just like present. I'm going to pass the second time the attendance list. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Here or not here? No. Okay. Ana Yancy Rivas de Rodriguez. I hear. Okay. Uh, Carmen Lisette Hernandez. Okay. Okay. Cesar Heriberto Rivera. Present. 
Okay. Claudia Lorena Enriquez Rivera. Present. Okay. Okay. Danis. Danis is not here. Danis. Daisy. Miss. <laughs> I know Present. you're here. Yes, I know you're here. <laughs> oh, okay. Daisy Elizabeth. Um. Dolores Saraí. Present. Eduardo Ernesto. Present. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present teacher. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Here. Flor de María. Flor? No. Jarly Alfredo. I'm here, coach. Okay, Karina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Katia Margarita. Present. Lo Urdes Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Luis Armando. Luis Armando. Present teacher. Nelson Iván. Nelson Iván. Present teacher. Present teacher. Oscar Fernando. Fernando. Present. Susana Carolina. She's Present. Can you hear me now? She's there. Yes. Hi. Okay. Hi. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Uh, all right. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Susana, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Help me heal. Reading. <laughs> okay. Read the word is full of things that mm -hmm. they we use, we don't use. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. The world is full of things that we use and we don't use, right? Okay, things that we use. Can somebody give me an example of something that you don't use? For example, the teacher uh, doesn't use doesn't use uh, the the paper. The teacher doesn't use the paper, but the teacher uses the cell phone. Okay. Can somebody give me another example voluntarily? Guys? Hello? Teacher, for example, the cooker, mm -hmm. cookers don't use, don't use the computer. Okay, very good. And the students use the computer. Very good, thank you, thank you. Luis Armando Leiva, help me reading this, the second idea of the video. Three, cat <clears throat> three categories, mm -hmm. job productions, instruments, mm -hmm. hot air balloons, mm -hmm. batch electronics, and community continuous flow, medicine, and a lot of things. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So um, what do you think, guys? Do you agree that the world is full of things that we don't use and things that we use? For example, uh, let's see, Nelson, what can you tell me? Is that true? Nelson? It is here. Uh, tell me, what do you think about this? Repeat the question. Uh, do you consider that the world is full of things that we use and we don't use. Agree or disagree? And I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, listen. The example that your classmate gave was a chef doesn't use computers, but the students use the computers, okay? The teacher doesn't use the paper, but the teacher use the cell phone, okay? So do you agree on that or not? Okay, and for example, um, I don't use my cell phone, I okay. use the computer, 
in my work. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Katia, Katia, are you there? Okay. Uh, in this in this video, in this video, we have three categories: the job productions, uh, the electronics, and medicine. How are these three categories related to your job? Is your job related to these categories? Yes or no? Um, no. No? No, teacher. What, what is your job about, Katia? I, I job, I work in a, a store. The mm -hmm. closest, mm -hmm. and I am cashier, and and um no no you said the three categories, it's not in the three categories. Okay, very good. No. Thank you, thank you, Katya. So remember, tomorrow you will watch the two videos that you have on the students' book. Okay. Uh, here are the words to mark steps in progress, okay? Can you help me reading, guys? What is the number one? First. Uh, continue. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Third. Mm -hmm. Then. Yes. Later. Yes. Right after. after. Yes. Right after. Yes. Next. Okay, and then? Finally. Finally. So this is vocabulary. My recommendation is to memorize it and use it. Here we have some examples. Let's see. Oscar, Oscar is here, Oscar? Not here. Not here. No. Oscar? You there? No, I have brought in the light. Microphone. Okay. okay. These are some examples. Can you can you please help me read in the number one? You read in the number one. Me hey, teacher. Okay. Read the number one, please. Fear. Mm -hmm. You are a baby. You are born. Okay. Thank you. This is the number one step. First, you are a baby, right? You are born. What is the number two? Uh, let's see, Jarly. What is the number two? What is the number two, Jarly? Jarly? Hello? Uh -huh. Number two. Second, you learn to walk. Okay, you learn to walk. Okay, Oscar, I see you want to participate. Number three. Oscar? No? All right, lower this, help me. Number three. Third, you try to speak. Very good. Number four, eh, Carmen. Carmen, I cannot hear you. Sorry, sorry. So Number yeah. four. Yes. Then you eat alone. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Eduardo, number five. Later, you go to school. Very good. Danis, number six. After, after you go to high school. Okay, very good. Claudia, seven. Right after you go to university. University, very good. Cesar. Next. Next, mm -hmm. you get a job. Very good. Anna Jansi, nine. Anna Jansi? Yes, me. Next, you get a job. And no, number nine. Number nine, ah. this one. Finally, you get all. Finally. Finally. Okay. Let's repeat everyone first. 
First. Second. 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 Third. 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 Then. 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 Later. 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 After. 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 Right after. Right. Right after. Right after. Right after. Next. 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 And finally. Finally. And finally. Okay, very good. Do you have any question about the, the sequence Mira. of these words? No, Miss. No? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. Let's see. Here you have some other examples. Okay. This is in your student's book. First, second, third, then, later, after, right after, next, and finally. Okay, examples, look. Uh, let's see, Anayansi, number one. Uh, number one, first, com combine, combine? combine margarine, sugar to egg, and vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. Okay, very good, thank you. Uh, let's see, Alfonso Antonio, number two. Separately. Separately. Mm -hmm. Separately. Mm -hmm. Combine flour, baking powder, mm -hmm. and salt. Very good. Uh, Cesar Heriberto. Number three. Uh -huh. Yes. Combine both mixtures with milk. Okay, Claudia. Later, tea for one hour. Very good. The word is five. After, roll the mixture to about a quarter inch thick. Very good. Oscar Gamero. Matt, good cookie. Very good. And let's see, Danis, the last one. Oh, finally, uh, bake for then you need. Okay, very good. Thank you. If you consider, you can take it a, a, a screenshot and you can copy the, the examples later in your notebooks, right? These are in sequencing words, all right? But this information, you have it in the student's book. All right, this is what we call practice. Right now, guys, we are going to make again groups. And what are you going to do here? Tell me one thing before you go. Uh, can you see clearly the picture? Yes. All right, very good. You can take a, a, a screenshot for you to have it. And uh, let's see, in that way you can take a screenshot. And let's see guys, here you are going to go on the groups. That is first, first step. Then you are going to read the description of a product of a chocolate factory in El Salvador. This is a description. This is the description. Dark chocolate espresso. That is the name of the product. Here you have the exercise. You are going to uh, write number one. Uh, what do you consider is number one? What is number two, number three, number four, number five, and so on, okay? As you can see here, you have number one. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass, all right? And then you continue with the number two, number three. This is going to be in groups. You are going to discuss it in English, of course. I'm going to be uh, checking you, right? And when you finish that exercise, uh, you are going to practice this. Again, you can take a screenshot and for you to work. Here, in the same groups, you are going to choose a product, a product, any product, any product that you know very well. Uh, you are going to mark the steps of the, ma the manufacturing process. You are going to use the vocabulary first, second, third, etc. And then you are going to write down the information in your notebooks. Uh, one member of the group will present the information, okay? Here. 
Hola Karina. Hello Karina. Yes, hello Karina. Good evening, teacher. Okay, you too, ladies. Elizabeth, wait. Room three. I don't know. I don't know what happened with Karina. You are Elizabeth Celaya, right? Yes. We are in the group. What? What room Fine. is this? This is number five. Elizabeth Celaya. I'm going to I'm going to send you to another group. Okay. 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 Entonces, uh, the second is the cocoa. Yeah. For me, is yes. Yes. No, the three. Um, milk. Um. And um, the third one? The third one is at uh, the chocolate factory. We pass the crumbs through a thin mill. Thin mill is como moler? Thin mill. No, molino, pero sí. Say it again. Uh -huh. He gave you the answer. Ya le dieron la respuesta por ahí. ¿Ah? Uh, hi, hi, Miss. Hi, are you working? Uh, the second. The second one. Ah, okay. The 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 comas go straight. Okay, that is that is your 
your opinion. And the other yeah. ones, Karina, what do you think about that? Yeah, I agree. The, agree. It's, the, it's the second. Okay, and what about Anna Jansi? Do you agree with that one? Uh -huh. Yo comprendo. <laughs> we, we are putting in order the, the, the process. Sí, pero... No. Try to read. Try to read. Guys, Danis y Karina. What? You, you can you can discuss in groups, you know? Oh, the yeah, idea, yeah. The idea is to get in groups and discuss. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. okay. Everyone in the group should speak. Everybody Perfect. in the group should give their opinion, okay? So okay. Continue working. Continue okay. working. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. La leche ya la, ya la tienen condensada. We add sugar to condense and milk with some of the cocoa mass. Mm -hmm. We cook the ingredients to get the milk evaporates to make milk chocolate strong. Hey, we produce a rich creamy. Um, uh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Remember, you are a team. You are a team, guys. So maybe if an answer, uh, you know, can be be can be identified. So maybe Luis is going to give his opinion. Lourdes is going to give her opinion, right? You have, let's see, number two, the cocoa mass goes straight to the factories. Okay, number three, let's see number three. Uh, maybe, maybe number three could be this one. We produce a rich creamy chocolate liquid. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. Le vamos a poner a esta. Ah, that can be a help. Yes. Okay. Okay, that is number three. Now, number four. In this column, number four. Number four. Is it that number one, eh, we condense fresh whole milk or we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Which one is number four? We condense. We condense. Number one, this one. Okay. We condense yes. Fresh whole yes. Milk. Uh -huh. yes. That. Okay. Put it there. In number five, what is it? We add sugar to condensed milk. Yes. Uh, exactly. There you go. So you continue with the other ones here. Yeah, sugar. Yeah. You continue here. Okay, continue there. We. Creo que entraríamos ya a lo que es el chocolate. Ni siquiera entrar al break room. What? Hola, <laughs> teacher. Yes. What is Karina? Yeah, you said no, it's not here. Yes, I guess that some people are having trouble. So maybe the internet connection can be bad or something beyond their expectations can be, you know, bad. So how are you doing it? Do you have the answers? Um, Guys? Pues no puedes prestarla en inglés. Do you have no the answers? The answers of the exercise is right here. Look. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to share the, the screen. Mm -hmm. it's this one. Did you did you take, you know? 
Right here you have it. Look, this is the exercise that we are doing. This is the exercise, right? Look, you can take a screenshot mm -hmm. and you then you put the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Here in this column from one to five, from one to five, here. Then the other numbers. That is an idea that I can give you. That is a uh, a piece of advice that I can give you here from one to five and over here from six and so on. All right. Yes. Mm, you can take no, a picture. You can take a picture with the cell phone or with the screenshot. You get it? No, I don't understand. Okay, bye. Estamos eh, trabajando en grupos. Grupos, okay? Exactly. Nelson and Cesar, you are a group. So, mm -hmm. here you have a description. Description. What is the product? What is the name of the product, Cesar? Eh... Uh... Como hacer un chocolate expreso. That's right, very good. That is the answer. Entonces, tenemos, tenemos que enumerar, digamos que en el proceso de manufactura de ese producto, ¿qué va primero, qué va después? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ay, no va a disculpar, pero somos más que principiantes. Sí, ahorita yo estoy así. No, don't worry, don't worry. ¿Qué hago? Mm, don't worry. So, I'm going okay. to help you. I'm going to help you with two more. Here you have number one. We process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mask. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. What can be number two from this one here? Check this, the last one. El, el, so well. uh, the cocoa mass gas at the strength to the factories in Union or Santa Ana. Very good. Number two. So write down number two in your notebooks. Put the numbers. Number or write, the, write the full sentence in your notebooks. Number two, okay, the number cocoa two, mask. Number three, oh, so yeah. Okay. Eh, mm -hmm. We add sugar. Oh, lo que están a la derecha también cuentan? Eh, right now, no. Only these ones. From one to five here. De uno al cinco acá. This is the rest. Okay. So what is number number three? Nelson, can you help Cesar? What about this one? Look, look. We have we have sugar no. to the condenser. This one, this one. No, we produce a rich cream. We produce a rich cream chocolate liquid. Liquid. Yeah, liquid. Yeah, that is the number three. That is the number three. three. Uh -huh. and we add sugar. We add sugar. No, number four is this one. We condense fresh. We condense mm -hmm. fresh whole milk. This is the number four. And then we add sugar. This one is number five. Five. Mm -hmm. Then you continue here. Six, seven, two. eight, nine, ten. Here. From six to ten are here. Right? So I help you with the num with the first uh, five. Okay? I help you with this ones. Now it's your turn to continue with this ones. All right? Can you do it? Okay. Okay, very good. I'm going to come back just in case you need uh, any help. All right? So let's see what's going on on the other groups. Continue working, guys. You too. Okay, thank you. Okay. The process. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> Teacher, we finished, but we are. Let's see. Right. With a lot of loops. Doubts. Okay. Doubts. No, I will change this one seven. Eight, 
and six, uh, check these three. Nine and ten, they are okay. But these three, mm, these ones, no. All right? <laughs> okay. Change, change. Okay. Change. Okay. Seven, eight, and six. Yes. You have some mistakes there. Check it. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> Did you finish, guys? Estamos ordenando esto porque realmente no, no. Yes. Eh, o sea, no let's... entiendo todo lo que dice en inglés. O sea, no, no tenía una clase que fuera completamente así. Ah, okay. Si me desubico un poco. Ok, let, let me help you. Let me help okay. you. Here, can you please move? Yeah, there. Here, from one to five. From one to five. And here, on the other side, from six to ten. La primera columna del uno al cinco. La segunda ah, columna del, del seis al diez. Ok. Ah, pues tenemos más la cuatro, la tres. Ok, let, let me see. This one, number five. One is ok. Five. Um, no, five, no. Ok, no. Five okay. here. Five here, number two, and number two, and number ten. Esas no están bien. Ah, this one. Number two. Yeah. Number two is... No, delete it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, number two is the cocoa mass goes straight. The cocoa mass yes. goes straight. That is number two. Okay. And number three is we produce, we produce a rich cream. Mm -hmm. Number four is we condense. Okay, so and number one, five we add. Yes, number five. Then the other side, you, you, that is, that is bad, yeah. The other, the other column. Yeah, the, other column the other column is back. Remember, okay. from six to ten. From six to ten. Okay. From six to ten. These numbers is okay? Seven, eight, and nine? Mm, no, they are disordered. They are okay. Disordered. okay. Where am I cooking? Yes. Put them in order, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, okay what is the number number six? Discuss. What is the number six? We cook these ingredients together. Yes, that is the number six. Put it there. We mix the clubs with cocoa. What is, uh -huh, yeah, that is, no, 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 no. It means evaporate, make milk chocolate yes, cream. Yes, that is number seven, yes. This, this yes. one? Yes, okay. that one. What is number eight? We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and coffee beans. Yes, that's right. Ah, uh, was easy, nine and ten. <laughs> yeah. You see, it's easy. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Estamos bien mal, de verdad. But the teacher helped. The teacher helped. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So for this exercise, somebody in the group, uh, select one person in the group. Uh, that person is going to give me uh, the answers at the end. And for the other activity, you are going to select another person to give the description of the product, right? Okay, okay. una persona va a dar las respuestas, la va a enviar, mm -hmm. y la otra persona va a decirlas, o? Yes, no, ah, okay. one person is going to read. Okay, teacher, number one, we process top quality, for okay. okay. to produce, and blah, blah, okay. blah. So okay. the activity number two, Another person will talk about other product. 
another Otro number producto. two. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the activity okay. number two. Okay. Continue thank working. You. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello. Hello. Ah, dice, ah. yo tengo problemas de conexión, me saca ahí dentro y no logra hacer mucho porque estoy desde el celular, no tengo internet en toda la, en la casa porque se cortó, la cortó un camión, la, el cable. Entonces estoy con, con datos. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. So, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? Are you doing fine or do you finish the exercises? Sir, in Spanish, please. Did you finish? Oh, no. No finish. All right. And okay. what about what about the exercise number two? The other exercise. The description. Puede compartirnos pantalla, por favor. Okay. Para poder, ajá, porque yo ahorita no 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 sé qué hacer así. Okay. Wait. Can you see the screen? Um, yes, this one. No. Choose a product. Okay, number one, you choose a product. Yes, elige un producto. Number two, mark the steps of the manufacturing process. Using the words first, second, third, uh, next, finally, after, right after, yes, you continue. The description, mm -hmm. the description, I mean the description of the product. You can write down in your notebooks the information. And when you finish, oh, okay. maybe Nelson or maybe you, Cesar, can read the information for the classmates, okay? So that, that is the activity. That is the activity that you will work right now. You can take a picture if you want. Okay? Okay. Okay? You did it? Um. Just uh, select hola? a product. Yes? Just select a product. For example, you can say uh, a pen uh, or maybe a paper. The paper teacher, you tell me the paper. Uh, before a paper is a tree, right? You have the tree first. Uh, second, you cut the tree. Third, uh, the tree goes to the factory. Yes, the tree goes to the factory. Uh, then the factory have the paper, have the paper. Uh, after the paper, you, you pay money for the paper. Right after that, you have paper in your, uh, in your school for example, okay? That is the example, clear? Okay. Okay, you can start writing right now. Write the example, write the example, and I'm going to ask you later, okay? Work okay. together. Bye. But the, the word is an exercise. It's a first, second, third, letter, after, next, and final. No. Uh, one observation. Fourth and fifth. You can change it for uh, after and right after. Okay. Or next. Or next, or then, or finally, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Change those words. Change those words. Okay.
está acá, ¿les parece? Next one is for the for the oil. Next one is there. Okay. Va, first we wash the potatoes. Second, we pair the potatoes and cut them. Third, we heat the oil and fry the potatoes. Mucho tiempo. Ajá, por algún... No, ahí ya, ya prácticamente el queso está fresco, está listo. Ah, ok. No, el queso ahí fresco. ya solo lo pone, bueno, lo puede poner en refrigeración. And cover, and cover, and cover. Right. Lo pone en refrigeración. Ah, ok, entonces. Eh, um, Podríamos agregar un sexto que es colocarlo en refrigeración, almacenarlo en refrigeración. Keep, como guardar, como keep the cheese in... The refrigerator. Uh -huh. yes. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. Keep dishes in the refrigerator. And finally, sería la seven. Finally, distri distribution. Hmm? Or eat. <laughs> Finally, you can enjoy the uh, delicious cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the... Yeah. Salt and water. Salt and water. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. Second. Hmm. Hmm. Second, we, perque, mm, we made, uh -huh, we mix flour, salt, and water to make, to make uh, a dog, a dog. A dog, uh-huh. A dog. Okay. Um, the texture? Para el curtido. <laughs> and second. Second. Por el, second. ¿Cómo se dice curtido en inglés? Ca, uh, uh, we need a cabbage. Cabbage? Cabbage oh, is. ¿Es cabbage? No, cabbage es como el repollo. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes, because cabbage. curtido in English doesn't exist. Pupusas doesn't exist. Don't say pupusation. No, doesn't exist. No. no. It's pupusas. It's a, maybe cabbage, but you can say curtido because it's a it's a native word, right? Tenning. 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 Sorry. Tanning, lo busqué y así como, como que así se dice, tanning. 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 That word is for curtido. Yeah. No. Curtido. Only, only say curtido, keep it in Spanish, or you can say uh, chopped, chopped cabbage. Chopped, chopped cabbage. Uh, chopped cabbage. Yes, that means chopped oh, cabbage. It, it, okay, it, it, chopped oil, cabbage. Uh, chopped cabbage. Okay. Yes, okay. So we are about to start, guys. Get ready. Sorry? Get ready. Get ready because we are going to start the presentation. Get ready. Oh. Yes. Oh. No ready. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little time. <laughs> Good look, Karina. Oh yes, my God. <laughs> Okay. Danis will speak. Danis oh. will speak. Okay. Por Karina. Oh, Karina. Karina. Okay, me. <laughs> the fear, the figure. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
Intentando acordarme. Ok. The deer. Ok, the second. The second. Need, the mix. Need, could. A uh, coverage. Ok. Sounds. And tomatoes. With. Hello, welcome back to the jungle, guys. <laughs> Are you ready yes. to start? Ready yes. To start? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Danny, give me a number from 1 to 20. Give me one number. Um, Number? Yes, give me a number. Six. Number six. Okay. Wait, I'm going to share my screen again. Number six. <gasps> number six. Are you sure number six? You are number six, Danny. <laughs> In the list. Yes, that's right. Danny is Adalberto Puentes. Number yeah. six. Mm. Yes, you are no, the no number problem. six. You are a lucky one. All right. But the, the answers, okay. the answers that I want you to give me are these ones. Look. Can you read the in order, in order, the yeah. correct answers? Okay. Uh, the rest of you guys pay attention and then I'm going to give you the final answers. All right, read number one. Okay, uh, number one is C. Huh? No, uh, read the, the paragraph. No, 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 ah, yes, that's right. In order, number one, we process top quality cocoa beans to produce the cocoa mass, right? Number two, what do you have for number two, Dan? Oh, number two, mm -hmm. uh, the cocoa mass goes strike to the factories in the Union of Santana. In La Union. La in Union. La Union, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, that is correct, that is correct. And number you. three? Number three, I think the, at the chocolate factory, we pass the spoon through a pig meal. No. Number, no? number three is we produce, we produce a rich, creamy. This is the number three. Ah, we produce. And we produce. Okay. What is the number four? Number four is we mix the screw on cocoa liquor on coffee beans as well as a special chocolate flour. No. no. It's we condense. We condense. Fresh whole milk. Mm -hmm. okay. make, make the corrections, make the corrections. And number five yes. is this one. We add, we add sugar to the condensed milk with some of the cocoa mass. Okay, that is the first part from one to five. Mm. Thank you, Danis. Karina, okay. Karina, give me a number from one to, from one to 20. Mm. Three. Three. Carmen Lisset, are you there? Absolutely. Thank you, <laughs> Karina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, can you give me what is the number six on the other column? Um, number six, we cook this, this ingredient together. Yes. Seven. The milk evaporates to make milk chocolate scones. Very good. Next. Eight. We mix this. We mix this. We mix the crumbs with cocoa liquor and toffee beans, as well as a special chocolate flavoring. Very good. Next. Number nine. Um, at the chocolate factory, we pass the scones through a pin mill. 
Very good. And number 10. And the last one, chocolate, chocolate undergoes the final special production, state refining, coaching, and tempering. Very good, very good, excellent. So those are the correct answers, guys. All right, thank you, Carmen. Then we have another practice. Let's, let's see if Oscar Fernando, are you there? Oscar Fernando. Yes, I am. Okay, give me a number from 1 to 20. 1 to 20, okay, number 12. 12, Flor de Maria. No, she's not here. Give me another one. 13. Jarly. Jarly, are you there? Jarly? Jarly? Okay, Nothing. 11 number. Okay, Fidel Coreas. Hi. Yes, go ahead, Fidel. What is the product? Fry uh, potatoes. Okay, go ahead. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can we can send uh, you the information. Yes. First we wash the potatoes. Potatoes. Ah, potatoes. Second we peel the potatoes and cook them. There we have the oil and free the potatoes. Next, we take out the potatoes for the oil. And finally, we serve the potatoes in company with bread, cheese, and ketchup. Okay, very good, thank you. Let's see, Danny, what was the product? My product? No, the product that Fidel was mentioning. As I know uh, attention. Uh -huh. That's why yeah. I asked you. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. Okay. All right. He was talking about how to make fried potatoes. Thank you, Fidel. Uh, one more participation. Daisy Celaya. Are you there? Daisy Celaya? No? They go to sleep. Daisy, are you there? No lo hice, teacher. No te escuchaba. Bueno, no escuchaban los compañeros, creo. Oh, who, who were your classmates? Who? En el grupo. Uh -huh. Yes, en el grupo. No. no Don't listen. You didn't listen. Okay, but give me one name. Who was your group? Uh, Edwin. Edwin. Edwin, are you there? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, how to prepare cheese? Mm -hmm. uh, get a meal from the cow. Add a coagula. Uh, dear, uh, extract to the zero. Suero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry. they add a salt and, and mix them. Mm -hmm. And later, but the mixture in a mold. And right after, store in refrigerator. And finally, you can enjoy a delicious cheese. Okay, very good. Cheese, we're going to eat cheese for dinner tomorrow, <laughs> right? Pupusas made of cheese. All right, uh, let's see. Is this activity clear, guys? Was clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's check if you learned the expressions here. 
Let me see. Uh, is Lourdes here? Yes, teacher. Okay, Lourdes. Can you mention the words used to mark steps in progress? Yes, uh, for example, first, mm -hmm. second, uh, right after, then, and others. <laughs> Mention, mention. <laughs> okay, um, then later, after that, um, next, finally. Okay, very good. Thank you. And let's Thank see. You. Number two, number two goes for uh, Ana Yancy. Are you there, Ana Yancy? <laughs> Uh, yes, number two. Give one example on a manufacturing process. One example. No sé contestar bien, teacher. Lo siento. Okay, in your group, Anayansi, in your group, what was the product? Sí, no, no, no lo, no lo hice. Bueno, yo no lo hice. Pero, pero estuve en un grupo, Ana Yancy. Sí. Okay. ¿Cuál fue el producto que, que describió su grupo? Las, las pupusas. Pupusas, ok. What do you have first? What do you have first? Here you have eh. the pupusa. And here, what, what do you have first? Sí. ¿Qué sí. necesitamos antes de tener una pupusa ya este, hecha? ¿Qué se necesita antes? What do you need? Eh, de maíz. How do you say maíz? Lo urdes en inglés. Eh, corn. Corn. Yes, yes very good. So, repeat, Ana Yancy, corn. The corn. The corn. corn. And then, the pupusa. Okay. Second, eh, cheese. Mm -hmm. Being fry, dear. Uh, okay. okay. That's it. You finish. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Yancy. Uh, let's see. The last one. The last one goes to uh, Katia. Katia, can you share with us one new word that you learned today? Um, the new world, wait, the conversation, the first conversation, mm -hmm. and manufacturing process, okay, the, the definition, okay, very good, so guys, we are going to stop here, we are going to finish the class today, and tomorrow at eight o'clock, please be punctual, be ready, have your student's book. The student's book is in the platform. You can find it and download it yet. You can read the class number two and get ready to participate. Get ready to rock and roll with me tomorrow, okay? So congratulations to everyone. You are an excellent group. I'm very pleased to be your teacher, guys. And I'm sorry, I apologize because at the beginning of the class, I had a little trouble with the presentation, but then I fix it up, okay? So thank you so okay. much for being here. Get ready for teacher tomorrow. Teacher in the last attendance. Yes, oh, right now, right now, don't worry, right now. Right oh, now, okay. just quickly, right? Uh, then okay. you, you, can, you can hand, hand off the, the phone then. Uh, let's see, Alfonso. Alfonso Antonio. No? Okay. Ana Yancy. Yes. All right. Carmen Lisette. Present. Cesar Heriberto. Present. Claudia Lorena. Present. Panis Adalberto. Present. Daisy Elizabeth. Present. Dolores Saraí. Present. Eduardo Ernesto. Present. Edwin Daniel. Present. 
Fidel Coreas. Present. I am here. Okay. Jarly Alfredo. I'm here. Okay. Karina. I'm here. Katia. I'm here, teacher. Lo urdes. Present, teacher. Lo urdes is sleeping now. <laughs> no, it's present, okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Luis Armando. Present, teacher. Luis, you you stay with me at the end, okay? Uh, Nelson. Yes. Present. Oscar. Present. Okay, and Susana. Present, teacher. Okay, guys, we finish here. Uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay, eight o'clock. Make sure that you get into the WhatsApp group. Okay. So okay. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye, Bye teacher. You. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you. See you. Bye. 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 Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. I'm not in the WhatsApp group. I send the link. I send the link in the chat here. You can see it. You can see it here, Fidel. In this chat. In the chat. Yes, in this chat. In so WhatsApp. Okay. In this moment, I copy. Okay, check it. There you have it. Okay. You have it there. Okay, it's ready. Okay, see you tomorrow, Fidel. See you tomorrow. All nice right. To nice to meet you too. Hello, Luis? My teacher, I'm here. Hi, este, how are you? Quizás tengo dos, como dos, dos consultas. Yes. La, no. la primera, quizás, ver, eh, realizar un poco de, de, de pronunciación en el diálogo. Ok, wait, wait. Hacer un, Fidel, un, repa, un repaso wait, wait. de la pronunciación en el diálogo. Wait, eh, Luis. Fidel, I'll see you tomorrow, ok? What? Fidel? Wait, Luis. Permítame, Luis. Sí, sí, Fidel está con mute. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fidel. Tiene para el micrófono. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yes, just end the, end the call. End the call. Es que tengo otra, otra pantalla emergente que no me da espacio y se ha quedado congelada. No sé si usted puede como sacarme de la clase. Sí, vamos a ver. En la esquina de abajo dice live. Ajá, abajo dice live. Es que pasa que si yo lo, si yo lo saco, ya no se va a poder volver a meter. Ah, ok. Es que ya ahorita tengo una pantalla emergente que no me da espacio ahí donde está lo de salir. No hay ¿Está minimizada? Ya ahorita ah. estoy en eso. Vamos a intentar aquí entonces. Ok, ya estuvo, ya se quitó. Ok. Nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. Nice to meet you. See you. Vemos, Fidel. Ok, teacher, gracias. Yes, tell me. So, no, todos, van a, todos van a tener su, su, su participación ¿Entiendes? conmigo. Así, sí, así es. Entonces, sí, pero ahora gracias. Le, le corresponde a, a, a Don Luis. Dígame. Muchas, gra Luis. muchas gracias, teacher, por, por okay. apoyarnos en este grupo. Este, no, le decía que quisiera practicar un poco la pronunciación de la de en el diálogo. Sería, permítame, lo voy a hacer más grande. ¿Usted tiene el libro, Fidel? Sí, yo lo, eh, te, lo tengo abierto ahorita, el diálogo. Lo tiene abierto. Sí. Bien. Entonces, si gusta, vamos a... Acá lo tengo en pantalla, yo también, por si... Ah, muy bien, excelente. Ajá, por si Hoy lo... se ve bien. Uh -huh. Vale. Entonces, vamos a practicar... Lo voy a leer una vez eh, yo y uh -huh. usted ponga atención a la, a las, a la, a la pronunciación, la ¿verdad? Hay algunas palabras okay. que quizás eh, parezcan un poco extrañas o difíciles de pronunciar. Ok, luego Correcto. vamos a practicar. Eh, yo voy a ser Ana y usted va a ser Mark. 
y después vamos a okay. hacer un switch, ¿verdad? Usted de Han y después yo soy Mark, a medida que agarre la fluidez que necesita para poder leer el diálogo, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Bien. okay. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Bien. Traté de leerlo así despacio para que, para que sí. tratemos ahí de, de captar. Bien, ahora okay. si gusta, yo soy Ana y usted es Mark. ¿Ok? Ok. Empiezo yo. De acuerdo. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we are a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Bien, vamos a repetirla de nuevo, ¿verdad? Yo soy uh -huh. Ana y usted es Mark. Esta vez ya vamos a tratar de, de hacerlo más como más fluido, ¿verdad? Para que hagan la fluidez. Ok. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about the people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Okay. Bye. Una pequeña observación. Acá tenemos el artículo eh, D o DA. Pero cuando suena D y cuando suena DA. Eh, bueno, va a sonar como DA cuando la siguiente palabra inicia con una consonante. Y va a sonar okay. con D. Si la siguiente palabra empieza con sonido vocal, acá lo tenemos, que es una vocal, entonces sería the amount, the amount, okay, the amount of the amount. sugar, uh -huh. the amount of sugar, okay, oh, okay. okay, the okay. amount, okay, very good, great, let's take a look, ahora vamos a hacer el switch, eh, empieza bien. usted y yo continúo, bueno, okay, Mark, will you explain as what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. 
Second, we add a thin layer of slides almonds. Sounds great. Add them. Finally, we add ginger. What about people who are di diabetic? Diabetic. Diabetic. Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, very good. Una vez más. One more time. Mm -hmm. Mark, will you explain us the manufacturing processes? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. And what about, but what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and a bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah. Esa, esa parte me ha gustado, mire. Pero vamos a volver como cuando iniciamos. Yo inicio con Ana y usted inicia con Mark. Okay, porque sí. ahí siento que todavía estamos así, ¿verdad? Sí, la, la pronunciación de, de diabetic, diabetic. Ajá. Es, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Diabetic. Diabetic. Ajá. Ok. Diabético. Uh -huh. Ok. Muy bien. Ok, let's see. Uh, Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our, our top seller. <clears throat> First, we have a we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about those who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Okay, ahora sí, estuvo, mire, mucho mejor. No sí. sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta. Fíjese que no, no queriendo abusar del tiempo, ¿Ah? <laughs> solo este, el proceso que habíamos hecho de la leche. Porque yo estaba en el grupo de Dani. ¿Sí? No sé si podíamos revisarlo rápidamente, porque en realidad era Artesian, Artesian Cheese Production. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo artesanal? lo había escrito. Sí, correcto. Yo lo había escrito así rápidamente, ¿verdad? Con, ¿Eh? a mi manera. Uh -huh. the, the first, we get the mail from the cow. Then we add uh, Quagoland. Right after the serum is extracted. After we apply salt, we get the cheese. Then we place the cheese in molds. Next, store it in refrigeration. 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 Finally, you can eat delicious cheese. Uh -huh. <ríe> y ahí terminábamos. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Uh -huh. no, no sé si tiene, se, tiene lógica o secuencia. ¿eh? Ya, sí, tiene, en, tiene en la inglés. secuencia. Tiene la secuencia. Acordémonos que tal vez lo sentimos un poco extraño sí. porque estamos acostumbrados a este, eh, ver este tipo de procedimientos, pero en español. Sentiría yo que por eso es que lo sentimos raro. Incluso había un grupo en el cual me preguntaban, teacher, mire, pero este, y no sé si fue en el, no, que eso fue el que hicieron ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, que eso. Ustedes hicieron que eso. 
había un grupo que hizo pupusas. Entonces le decían, ¿y curtido? ¿Cómo voy a decir curtido? Bueno, este, nosotros los salvadoreños tenemos, eh, no solo los salvadoreños, sino que así de diferentes países tienen sus propias palabras, ¿verdad? Son palabras que no tienen muchas veces una traducción literal. Por ende, al decir curtido, yo me estoy refiriendo a, ¿a qué? A, a repollo, ¿verdad? A repollo, pero en, en trozos pequeños, picados. Perfecto. Entonces, a eso me refiero yo. Pero si yo voy a un lugar, hey, véndame curtido. No, o sea, no me van a entender. Aquí en El Salvador sí, pero en otro país tal vez no. Entonces, eh, les decía yo, pónganle chopped. O sea, que significa chopped cabbage. Eh, mm. el, el, ¿Cómo se llama? El repollo. En, en semana, ¿verdad? Así, Así, en trocitos. Ajá. Porque o oh, okay. lo dicen como curtido. Lo mismo pasa si alguien me dice, ¿cómo se dice pupusas en inglés? No, no tiene traducción. Sería pupusas. Aquí en Estados pupusas. Unidos y en todas las pupusas. Tacos es tacos. Este, pizza es pizza. ¿Verdad? Entonces, hay ciertas palabras pues que... Literalmente no, no cambia, ¿verdad? Y quizás yo, por eso le digo, eh, siente raro el ver este tipo de, de, de procesos así en inglés, porque como estamos acostumbrados a, a ver todo el tiempo español, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. Uh -huh. Pero bien, sí, que tiene lógica, se entiende. Ok, perfecto, uh -huh. entonces. Creo que ya me parece un montón. <risa> ok, Luis. Eh, bueno. I'll see you tomorrow. Ok, see you tomorrow. Y thank you very much. Ok, have a good night. Okay, good, good night. Okay.